Hi, I'm Bobby Rivers. Sitting to my left, Norman Mailer, author, director. In our previous segment, Mr. Mailer said the F word, feminism. <laughs> so so how, how are you? How, um, how are you with feminism well, nowadays? It's been a long time since Prisoner of Sex came out. Yeah, I, I just I would just soon have a truce. And, uh, yeah, I mean they're scoring more than I am. <laughs> <laughs> you would what? And in Prisoner of Sex, there is, uh, you said that women are at worst low sloppy beasts. Oh, thanks a lot, Bobby. No, I'm so, well, I'm sorry. Uh, I had to do a little homework. Yeah. <laughs> what, what are what are they at their best? Well, I, what I said there at the time it was a stupid remark at both ends. Uh, I said at their best, they're goddesses. Mm -hmm. Now, does anything get a feminist more angry than calling her a low, sloppy beast? It's calling her a goddess. <laughs> Do you think you got so much notoriety because of your of your look? Now, we might think of somebody who would be called a madam as looking at like the saloon women on Gunsmoke, but you, you frankly, you look like a den mother. You know, like you should be baking cookies instead of selling tarts. <laughs> Um, so <laughs> you are really quick. <laughs> uh, yes, which frustrates a lot of people. To me, you were sort of like <clears throat> the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> you were you were impressive. Statue of Liberty with a wa with a waistline. With a <laughs> with a tiny waistline. Impressive and important, but but at the same time, just like the statues, almost immovable and somber. And when I read the book, when I read your autobiography, I was reading it and going through. I said, I like this woman. Mm -hmm. I really like her. So do you think other people might have had that, that image of you also? Well, I know that, I, know, I didn't let my sense of humor out of the closet for the first 10 years that I was on the stage. And I think that I was just afraid that they would think I wasn't serious about all the things I was serious about. Mm -hmm. I didn't think you could mix those things. I am Bobby Rivers, and this is Harold Ramis. He's in the movie Baby Boom with Diane Keaton. Harold, Halloween's coming up soon. If, if Diane Keaton... It, if Diane Keaton called you up and said, listen, I'm having a costume party, and you have to come to my party dressed as a cartoon character who's closest to your true personality, what character would you go as? Al Pacino. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite cartoon characters. Pacino and Bullwinkle. I yeah. love that cartoon. I hear that your mom, Debbie Reynolds, wants to play Suzanne Vale's mother. That's in, true. In the movie version, she does? <laughs> yes, yeah, she does. Okay, now, because that that's, could... That's just too weird. Don't, it's that, they're going, wah! You know, I just think it's too weird that people just assume that all of it is just going to be, and then everyone, then they should just film my family. There it is. Okay, there's the book, Postcards for the Edge, by Debbie Reynolds' daughter, Carrie Fisher. And inside, she signed it, for Bobby, my future ex-husband. <laughs> Thanks. Now, how, how, how would you feel about having me as a son-in-law? Well, I would like you. I, I think it's a, Carrie needs a very funny fellow in her life, actually. You, you know? could do the musical version of Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. Well, if you have a sense of humor, then you can get along with Carrie. I mean, a man. Mm -hmm. But I think you have to be interesting. I mean, really, her, she's not attracted to boring men or women, really. But as far as dating, she finds it a little hard because she's just too smart. Patrick Dempsey, star of the movie In the Mood, and he was in Can't Find Me Love. A good actor, a good actor. I'm so glad he's here. You've done stage work. Yes. Now, you, did, uh, you did two roles that were originated by Matthew Broderick. Mm -hmm. Brighton Beach Memoirs. You were in the International uh, Roadshow of that? Yes. It's a and fancy you, name for a bus and truck. Bus and truck. Right. And you did Tort Song Trilogy. Right. Okay, now Tort Song Trilogy, the character you, you played, uh, this... It's a, he's a young hustler who's redeemed by, by the paternal love from a gay man. Right. And the way your bio reads is that you got that part after an agent spotted you juggling. Yes. What were you juggling? Balls. 